other guy. To be arbitrarily high, you can trade and buy bitcoins or whatever coin, despite CBN ban on uh, bitcoins. So we'll be using Binance uh, platform and we'll be using the P2P trading, which is pay to pay. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can safely buy your Bitcoin or any other crypto coin that you want to buy safe from uh, CBN and banks in Nigeria. So basically, this is like it's like you buying um, something from a seller, mostly someone in Nigeria or any other country that you want to trade with. But I would prefer, I would suggest you go with uh, someone that is in Nigeria, that is if you're in Nigeria watching this video. So, and um, yeah, so you demand for the, the, the amount of coin that you need, and then you send money to this um, seller, and then as soon as um, the whole, the, the person receives your, the money that you've sent, normal transfer, then, Binance will release your um, your coins to you because Binance serves as a mediator between you and the seller. So let's get started. So right here I'm at Binance website. No, this is the application though. So I'm at the app and there are two ways you can get to the P2P trading. One is through the homepage here and the other one is through your wallet. P2P. So, but first, let's start with the home page. You can see right here that it says P2P trading. You click on this. Now, there are so many um, sellers out here. You can see USDD, BTC, BUSD, BNB, Ethereum, Naira, and DAI. Well, at the same time, I want to point your attention to this Naira sign here. You can always change the country where you want to trade from. Is it that? Either you want to trade with the um, dollar or you want to trade with US, USD. Whichever one, you just have to choose from any of these currencies. Let's say um, you want to trade with so whichever currency you want to trade with, you just click on it. But for this uh, this tutorial, I'm going to be using Naira, so Naira will be will stay. Now let's look for a seller and see what we can buy. So right here. I would suggest you use um, USDD though because it's more stable and the prices are always stable, much more stable than any other cryptocurrency out there. So I would suggest if you're buying that you should start with USD, USDT and then so that I, I just suggest you should start with that one. So now let's look at Although you can, you, can, you can decide to start with BTC if that's what you want to buy, it's totally up to you. But for this tutorial, we are going to use USDT. Now let's look at the buyers, the, the sellers we have here. So like this very first person, Joella456, is selling, has a... Um, He's selling from 100,000 to 105,000 and above. So, and make sure that when you're buying, you're starting from the exact amount that the person is willing to offer for sale. Then you can always increase it to however amount that the person's limit is. So, this person's own is uh, 100,000. Let's assume. Maybe you don't want to buy up to that amount. You can always go down to look for people that has 
um, smaller quantities depending on your budget. So, okay, let's start with this person. This person is offering about 15,000. Yeah. So, this is a good choice for us. So, let's say you want to buy 15,000 of a USDD. That is, um, now that will give you around 30 USDD DT for 15,000 Naira. So, right now, this seller, you can only pay him to bank transfer. And it is clearly written here, bank transfer and all that. Now, what you have to do is click on the buy USDT. Now, it brings you to this platform where, where you get to make payment. You now choose payment method. So this is the person's account number. All you just have to do is transfer the money from your own account, from your own bank account, which you've registered, you've registered with uh, Binance. Because before you get to this point of buying and selling, you have to first of all put in your BVN. So with this BVN, Binance will be able to track whatever transaction that you make to this person's account or to any other person that you'll be buying in the future. So what you are going to do right here is to click on this, copy this, uh, this person's bank account number, then go to your website, your application or your, you know, or do a, go to your banking app, put it there, then send exactly 15,000 Naira to this person. And once you've done that, the person will now log on back to Binance and confirm that you have paid. And then Binance on its own will now release these 30, 30 US BT coins for you. And you don't have to worry about the person running away with your uh, with your money on it. No, it doesn't work that way. In fact, if any if, if the person refuses to confirm you, Binance will find out and there is also a space for you to report any seller that did not, you know, who have received your money but has not confirmed you yet. So there is always a way to circulate and you don't have to worry about any risk at all because Binance has got you covered. So with this, you can easily buy Bitcoin, buy whatever cryptocurrency that you want to buy and then pay to transfer and Binance will be the mediator that will then look at both of you and be like, okay, you fulfilled your own bargain. The seller has us fulfilled. And then Binance will take the, bit, uh, the USDD coins that you bought and then credit it to your own. So this is the easiest and safest way to do uh, buy uh, cryptocurrency by passing all the protocols of CBN and Nigeria government. So I think this is a, this video should be enough to help you out on all of these. Thank you for watching.